Shop. This is place the buffer out. In this video, I will be talking about Becky Buckfair again and why I think he was by mistreated by the show. He's a great character for the best in the show. Now, let's start from the beginning. Actually, before the beginning, before this specific character was even introduced. Now, before Vicky McFennigan was introduced, we had this character, Francis Griffin. Now, he's of course not the biological father of Peter, but we didn't know that at the time. So, for all of you, he could have been. But we, uh, we found out later that he's not. But anyway, let me just say that he is one of the worst characters of the entire show. Now, the episode Holy Crap is one of the worst episodes of the entire show. And this cunt is a major reason as to why. So, let's talk about it. But very fucking annoying part about the episode is that he doesn't let Chris Griffin take a shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Why would you do that? Okay, so needs to take a shit. You let them take a shit. You don't tell them that it is a sin. Who the fuck even says that? No Christian says that except for Francis, apparently. Good fucking god. I will give Francis this, though. He's a fucking dedicated worker. He managed to get the doll heads to the dolls in just a few fucking seconds. Damn. But making him the manager of the toy factory was a fucking bad idea. Says, that workplace doesn't feel like a good workplace anymore. Now it feels like enslavement. Now Francis fired Peter and honestly did my fucking favor, I'm glad he did because this is not a good place at all. And he was over shitty to Peter's family, including Peter himself, who was downright shitty to him. And yeah, thanks to him, Peter had a shitty childhood. That can't. Now Francis makes it clear that he fucking loves the Pope. Now know this, Peter kidnaps the Pope so he can talk to his father. Now, unfortunately, Peter's plan backfires big time. Francis rages at the Pope and says he was wrong about him. Yeah, the Pope is much better than you will ever be, so shut the fuck up. And then the Pope tells the truth that Peter is a great man and a great father. I mean, he is for the most part wrong. Peter is not a great father. But I will give Peter this. He is at least a lot fucking better father than Francis will ever be. Now, for some reason, in the end, Francis becomes the Pope's Assistant? What? Why the hell would he do that? I mean, the Pope doesn't respect Francis at all. He's made it very clear. So why the hell would he accept him as his assistant? Makes no goddamn sense to me. Now let's talk about the episode, the father, the son, and the holy fonts. Let's go. Now Francis is of course biggest scumbag in that episode. He baths to it with holy water, which Lois disapproves of, and rightfully so. Now Lois brings up a very good point to Peter, and that's that he has been letting his father abuse him for his entire life. And he should stand up and do his own things, as he is a grown ass man. But you know what? Lois is absolutely right about that. Absolutely right. Peter shouldn't let Francis boss him around anymore. Peter makes his own religion. And yeah, his religion is just some nonsensical garbage. And he doesn't know how to make a fucking religion at all. Before I never take this the wrong way, I've nothing against religion. In fact, I defend religious people from actual atheists all the time. I'm just saying that this religion he made up specifically is a shitty one. Because, let's be fair here, it is. Now when Francis brings up I was disgusted that Peter made his own religion and this should follow an actual religion. And brings up what he describes applies to actual religions too. And yeah, I never was a fan of what Brian said about religions and I still am not. Brian talks about how religion is just taking advantage of the simple minded. No, that's not what fucking religion is. Religion actually helps people through life. That's why most people choose to be fucking religious. Honestly, Fuck you, Brian. Now, by the end of the episode, everyone leaves Peter's religion and make up their own nonsensical religion instead. Yeah, none of these morons even know how a religion fucking works. After everyone leaves Peter's religion, he feels dumb and asks, who could possibly be dumber than me? And Brian and Francis cheer Peter up by mentioning people who are dumber. You know, this is possibly the only good thing Francis has ever done in the entire fucking series. Now let's talk about Peter's two deaths, which is the final episode Francis appears in. Why is it his final episode? Well, we'll be talking about that 
Soon enough, and it's also the episode that introduces one of my favorite characters of the show. Let's go! Early on in the episode, Peter accidentally falls on Francis. And unfortunately, later on, Francis suffers at a hospital. Now, Francis' last words are, You're a fat, stinking drunk. Wow. He always treats him like shit. Did he even treat him like shit? In his fucking deathbed? Seriously, but fuck this guy. There isn't a single good thing about him. And when he died, it was pretty tragic, but he rest in peace. I mean, he might have been a cunt, but it's still said that he died. Now in the garden behind Peter's back, Brian and Lois celebrate the fact that Francis is dead. And honestly, I don't blame them. Like I said, he was a cunt. Now Peter meets up with a therapist. Now Peter discovers a memory where Francis tells him, I'm not your father. Wow, that must have gotten him into a big fucking shock. Now Peter talks to his mother, and she tells him, that he has an actual father. Now before I go on, I just would like to say that Peter's mother is one of the nicest characters in the show. And she's one of the few characters who is neither insane or an asshole. So I appreciate that about her. But yeah, she tells Peter that he has an actual father who is an Irishman. Now Peter decides to go on a journey to Ireland to meet up with his biological father. But for some reason he's only going with Brian and not his entire family. I mean, where the hell is it he bringing his entire family with him? I mean, it would only make sense, so I'm sure they would love to see his biological father. And then Brian and Griffin finally arrive in Ireland. And I have to say, the joke with a bunch of fucking empty beer bottles at the airport is funny as hell. Now, after finally meeting him, it turns out that Peter's biological father doesn't support him either. Damn! Though, to be fair, it's understandable that he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't even fucking know Peter. He has never seen Peter in his life. It still sucks, though. And then the ghosts of Francis, Yora, and Obi-Wan Kenobi appear to Peter, and they fucking convince him to challenge his father to a beer drinking contest. Hell yeah, that is so fucking awesome. Now, Peter challenges his father, Mickey McFinnigan, to a beer drink-off to prove to him that he's just as good as he is. So Mickey McFinnigan gains his respect for his son. Unfortunately, that's the end of the character. He doesn't appear in any future episode. Oh, it gets worse. Not only does he not appear at all in a later episode, they also trash talk him during the dialogue. Why does this bother me? Because Mickey McFinnigan is a fucking great character. After Peter has proven himself to his father, he shows that he's a very cool and chill dude. Yeah, he's a great fucking father to Peter. He's a much better father than Francis was, that's for Tim sure. Yeah, and he's just a cool guy to hang around with. Peter's two deaths introduced a great fucking character, and he should have appeared more in the series. God damn, I am so fucking pissed he didn't appear. In one episode, Peter met up with the ghost of Francis. Even though he has an actual living father which he can talk to, what the fuck was that about? It's clear that the makers of Family Guy would forget about Mickey McFinnigan, which is insulting in every way. He should have talked to his actual fucking father instead of talking to the ghost of Francis. Seriously, this was just insulting and very disrespectful, says Peter has an actual living fucking father. In the episode Papa has a rolling son, Mickey McFinnigan is nowhere in sight. Even though it's fucking Father's Day and he should spend time with his father. But no, he is nowhere to be found, what the hell? Not only that, but one of the characters yet again shit talks him in the dialogue. STOP FUCKING DOING THAT! The Family Guy writers should be fucking ashamed for throwing him under the bus like that. Even at the fucking funeral roof, Tell my Griffin, this guy is nowhere in fucking sight. Are you fucking kidding me? This could have been the perfect opportunity to have him return. The makers of Family Guy must hate that character. And I can't for the life of me find out why. Because he was a great fucking character. Well guys, that's basically it. Thank you for watching the old fantastic day.